What is up, everyone? We are back. More Jeffrey Dahmer. Damer? Dahmer? I actually don't really know how to say his last name. Um, Episode 3 was crazy. I'm sure episode 4 is going to be even crazier. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, This will be over on my Patreon with the audio and video. Sign up for my Patreon if you want to um, see this with the actual audio and the actual visuals as well um, from the show. Because you're not going to see it on YouTube. I ain't even about to play around with YouTube. Copyright. Uh-uh. Not today. Let's go ahead and watch them. Go ahead and watch and see what's up. See how they coming. Bath, Ohio. It's kind of hard to hear. Okay, now I can hear it. Part of the femur. Wow. The hitchhiker. You panic, smashing the bones. to dry them out. Wow. Wow. Want him to still be around. What? Surrounding me. What the fuck? That is horrible. Yes. Oh, okay. Cause what? Nine years. What's interesting? He was aroused by this. Oh my God. Ew. What? There's a term for that? Internal organs. Is that real? Is that a real? <laughs> At this point, hold on. What is it called when you find internal organs arousing? erogenous zone. I don't know what that is. <laughs> what? <No>. Bitch. <laughs> Where's this conversation going? No, psych psych psychiatrist, psychologist. That don't make no sense. What what you saying makes absolutely no sense. What? Cause I hate wet things. Like I, I don't like being wet. I don't like soggy things. Like, but what are you talking about? My eye is like itching a little bit. Well, this is class photo or something. Mm -hmm. 
the honor society photo. Ooh. Ooh. A two GPA. Oh. Y'all that upset that someone less intelligent than y'all got in y'all little picture? An irrelevant ass picture that y'all not gonna even think about once you graduate high school and you're gonna throw the yearbook away, you're gonna go off and make new friends and relationships and new friendships. Y'all that pressed about the picture, Jeff killed him. <laughs> Get them next, Jeff. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, don't do that. That would be horrible. I just gave my dog a bath and he is um being annoying. Just because you're clean doesn't mean I want you on me. I get it. You know what? Come on. Okay. I gave him a, a treat. Tough cookie. So this is the new wife, right? A new girlfriend. Not here. What? Boy, where have you been at? It's been three months. Where, where, where have you been at, though, father? Absentee ass. He said, God knows what you've been eating. He's been eating humans. You know you're not okay. No. Drink some coffee? Your life in order. Where are y'all at? I hop. Place look busted. Girl, mind your business. <laughs> oh, that gives me flashbacks. I remember I was at Dunkin' Donuts and I got um, a sweet tea, but it wasn't sweet enough, so I was adding some more sugar to it. This person gonna come up to me and say, That's a lot of sugar. And guess what I told them? Mind their business. I looked them dead in the face and I said, Mind your business. The fuck? That's a lot of weight on your body, but you don't see me talking about it. You sit here and Dunkin' Donuts getting a whole dozen thing of donuts. Mind your goddamn business. Tough love. Girl, who are you? Oh. For failures. I mean, right. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, not your daddy reading you. Yes, that's what you are. I'm glad you know. Right. Um, 
Wow. Into Ohio State. Paying for the first semester. What about the second? Interesting. What in the hell? Oh, you going can after can. I'm dead. Not a zero point four five. I'm dead. Not expelled. Oh, too late. I'm going in the army. Mm. That's the real place to reject the army. Damn. Unless you went inside the army from like the United States Naval Academy or West Point. Like if you ain't go inside the army from one of those two schools, then baby. That uh, I actually got accepted to the Naval Academy. I was going to go seriously. I was going to go uh, to the United States Naval Academy. I did. Um, What's it called? Plead summer. Or whatever it was there. And I was like, this, this ain't really for me. I wasted a whole summer there. Like, you do, like, a plead summer the year before you're supposed to go to Naval Academy. Wasted, like, my whole summer there. Cut my hair and everything. But was I was not um, feeling it, though. I wasn't feeling it. I was just like, yeah, th this ain't the lifestyle for me. Do I regret it a little bit? Because I was like, mmm. I ended up meeting someone from the United States Naval Academy. Uh... They were dating someone I went to school with, like a long distance relationship type thing. And I ended up meeting him and I'm just like, this nigga looks, looks seems familiar. And lo and behold, then they go into that. He went to the Naval Academy. I'm like, wow, maybe I should have went. He uh, told me some really good uh, stories about it. So, oh, well, sorry. It's good to be home. I feel like the military messed him up even more, though. Oh, medical specialist. Of course, he's doing med medical stuff. Oh, man. I'll see him. And now he out here thieving. I'm going to turn the audio up just a little bit. Hopefully y'all should hear it better. I don't know if y'all were struggling to hear it or not, but I will. He drugged his drink.
Oh my god. In the military? Oh. Oh my god, and this music is so unsettling. No one caught him? The old country. Nineteen eighty one. Oh, why your dad mad? Oh, he must have got caught and got kicked out of the army. Mm, I bet you that's what happened. He got caught and got kicked out the army. Yep. He got caught drugging his um roommate or whatever. Twenty one. Kicked out the army. Help your grandma around the house. Ooh. He's okay. His dad is really playing his role. Oh wow. I was expecting that from daddy. Okay. First episode was not giving me the, these impressions of the dad at all. So this is very interesting. Wow. Science fair. Interesting. A box full of memories, yep. Oh. Girl, are you sure, Grandma? Seeing people... This is so toxic, though. I hate... That is so toxic. Why in the hell would getting inside a relationship with a girl fix anything? Here's why it's toxic on both ends, right? Women are not healing centers women are not therapists they're not healing centers and they're not responsible for handling a, a grown man's bullshit that's toxic as hell why do people think pussy will fix things that will not fix things that is not the woman's responsibility why would a woman want to go inside of a relationship with a no, no, no. yeah on the second half <laughs> second half that is toxic to guys as well what makes you think that a guy needs a woman to do good? I mean, in this case, he's gay. So why why not say, oh, a guy or a girl, you know, be inclusive, guy or girl. But what makes you think that a guy would need a woman to help them? If he's clearly saying that a screw is loose, how the hell would a woman fix that? What the fuck? If anything, it's only going to make it worse. Because then you're going to have her and her stressing you out. I mean, that's a whole nother topic in itself, too. That would just make it worse. So, no bitch. No grandma. And drinking. I, okay, I see. Now I agree with you. Ooh, not do better. Not church. Grandma, you... <laughs> 
You've missed all three strikes, bitch. It is time for you to get off base and return and take a seat, girl. Not, absolutely not. Church and religion will not help either, grandma. I don't know what advice you've been giving people, but it is not it. You make this man's life worse. You suggesting him some pussy. Um, when that's not gonna help nothing, you suggesting him to uh, drink less, even though he hasn't been drinking. So no, girl. And then now you suggest a religion? Religion makes everything worse. No, Re religion is not the answer. No. And resist those temptations. Bitch, bye. I would have cursed her out. Oh, okay, you think the devil is sent to him? Oh my god, girl. Girl. No, Jeff, don't go to church. Don't do it. It's gonna make things worse. Not gonna fuck around. I'm there. You in nice clothes. So that's what was the that was I think the first second episode. He was like, oh, you you gotta have on a white shirt or something. Wait, did I see this already? Then she goes in the room and, and finds the mannequin, right? But he didn't get the mannequin in this episode. So they're combining scenes from other episodes to tell a story. It's very weird. Yeah, Grandma, you're you going to see the mannequin. And the mannequin going to be a guy. Are you upset, Grandma? And this is where it starts. What? Where'd you get that? Girl, bitch! I knew she was going to get, get church involved. Yeah, nah, she, she is the devil. I feel like religious people are just truly the devils. Because, like, girl, and pray about it. And Jesus Christ. Boy, first of all, this is her house. Hold on. Uh, first of all, boy, this is her house. How about some your room, your stuff? Boy, this is her house, though, because you can get out. Let's be very clear. You and your grandma both need to go. <laughs> her and her religion need to go. And you and your antics, you, you need to go to Jeff. It isn't healthy. Good job, girl. Yes. Girl, you better call the cops. This is awkward. Y'all eating dinner together? This is very awkward. You sorry now? Oh, not your butter dish. <laughs> Go get her another butter dish. 
Do you accept the, the apology though? Do you really? Cause he would have to get out of my house, <laughs> girl. He would have been had to get out of my house. Love what? Get on the beer tent. He really drinking, huh? Oh, he looking at the uh, the statue, isn't he? He looking at the statue. Don't tell me he about to fondle the statue in public. Please don't do that, Jeff. Oh. What the fuck? My buddy dropped his... Ooh! Ooh, and you lost your job. And now the whole town know. This is so unrealistic by I wasn't gonna say nothing, but now now y'all overdoing it. I love the black inclusion, black inclusivity, but in the goddamn 80s, black people were not the fucking dean at colleges, let alone Ohio State University. Y'all was pushing it at, at the beginning of the episode when y'all had the black dean at Ohio State. Ohio State black deans. Hold on, because now I gotta Google it. And now you got a black person working here. Black, um, let's see. Black Dean Jeffrey Dahmer. I mean, okay, I, I, it's gonna be very hard to find out who the Dean was when, when he went there for like a year or whatever. But, like, no, that I doubt that was the case. There's no way a Black Dean in the 80s, like, fresh from the 60s and the 80s at Ohio State the one of the whitest colleges you a goddamn lie and now her you a goddamn lie black women were not allowed to pursue this high of an education in the, in the 80s if, if they were her entire office would have likely been attacked by a bunch of racist ass white people no fuck it look don't don't try to make it seem like black people had it don't try to bitch paw no nah, pause this shit again don't try to make it seem like black people had it much nicer and better in the 80s and the black people were inside all these positions of power because that is not true if you watching this and you watch my reaction black people were not in all these positions of power in the 80 in the 80s at all it we still struggling to get inside these positions of power today we were definitely not in these positions of power in the 80s at least not in the two places that they referencing you on some bullshit nah don't play my culture like that. Oh, a qualified girl. Is he a doctor? Oh, 
He gonna like the blood. He gonna like all this. How I got the beer money. He thinks I'm a shithead, I'm dead. Misdemeanor. Is it? Cause it's not. Watch a little brownie. Is this grandma blind in one eye? Why does her eye look like that? Am I tripping? With them little television dinners. <laughs> I had a television dinner before. They were. Why does he have the blood? Oh my God, Jeff. Why do you have this, the blood? Is he about to pour the blood on him? Please don't. Evan Peters. Now he grabbing his crotch. He's about to pour the blood on him. Or is he about to drink it? Oh! Oh my God! Why? Oh my God, Club 21. And this is the same club that he, 1987. Club 219, I mean. This is a club from the first episode. I can't believe he just drunk a whole thing of blood like that. That's fucking disgusting. Good luck. Go out where? Large room. Um, you know him on the first name basis? In the condom? Oh. What type of place is this? Oh, y'all just got meat out in this? In this? Okay. Right, you got experience with killing people. That's sexy. What? Lay down there on the bed. And I can hold you. Uh uh. Red flags. No. If we gonna fuck, if I if I pay my money, we gonna fuck. Nah, fuck out of here. Is that his dick? Oh wait, no, that's not Evan Peters. Never mind. I about to say, oh y'all really got my my guy out just out here like that, huh? A 
I thought he killed them. Damn. He said, no, I got to work. And I bet you the reason he ain't stay was because y'all probably ain't fuck. Not becoming a regular. I hope you using protection. Take your shirt. Oh, now you, now you demand it. Now you in charge. Stay here. Get us some drinks. And he about to drug the drinks. Wow. He's that desperate? He really out here spiking drinks. Unresponsive. Wow. Ooh, not get the fuck out of here. Ooh. 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 Blacklisted. Run. Yes, call the cops. Oh my god, you 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 stupid. You should have let him go in the bathhouse and then as he's walking away, call the cops. And then the cops got him in the act. What are you talking about? Oh my God, you fumbled with the bag. Not bathhouse though. No chewing gum. Why can't you chew gum? No. Got fired. Oh my God, bitch. <laughs> the Heavenly Father. No. Right. You take that back. No, bitch. <laughs> you period, Jeff. I support you on this. I support you on this, brother. Nah, girl. Just call it the old lady. I know this this episode gonna be long. I've paused and talked a lot. I've paused and talked a lot. This is definitely gonna be like an hour and a half, probably. God damn. So you just giving him, um, so you just giving him straight spiked drinks in the open. Wow, Evan Peters. <laughs> I hope you got paid your coin for this. Oh, he getting him an actual hotel. Not in the bathhouse. Not athletes, but nigga, you got banned. Let's stop, let's stop the cap. And now he out here spiking the drinks.
Don't drink that. Wait, did he hand him the wrong one? What if he handed him the wrong one? Yeah, he handed him the wrong one. He handed him the wrong drink. Yep. That's what the fuck you get. Interesting. Let me make you another. So now you, oh, you are determined to get this dude drugged. Yeah, this is what you get. Wake up. And he just sitting back there go-go dancing. Okay, yeah. Uh, you can't love the music that damn much. Rihanna, if you don't get the fuck out. He really snapped out of the drugs? And you gonna drink it like an idiot. What's on his hand? Is that blood? Did they fight? Oh, they must have fought. How did that even happen? Not you slapping the dead body. How did this happen? And you about to go put his body in a suitcase. I hope room service went in there and, and found it. Oh, no, they didn't go in there and find it. Damn, come on, room service. Y'all be on it. But now y'all lacking. His body ain't gonna fit up in there. I hope somebody stops him. Are you waiting for your grandma to leave? Wow, Jeff.
This is crazy to me. Wow. Just want to know what the schedule is. He making sure she gone for what the hell, whatever the hell he about to do. This is so creepy. And he's about to dismember the body. Yep. Wow. In your own, in your grandmother's house. He got this nigga head in the box. Not you kissing the head. Oh my God, brother. Brother. No. And not you shedding a fucking tear. Now you got your memories, huh? These are the memories you wanted. Oh. Crazy episode. Crazy, crazy episode. Um... I'm going to try to pause less, though. I know I'll be pausing a lot. I'm going to try to pause less and um, let, let it play on while I'm talking. But, yeah, crazy-ass episode. Really interesting episode, so. His father got fed up with the bullshit and sent them on to the grandma, which is, like, crazy. If, if I ever have kids, which I won't, but if I do and my kids have kids and they try to do this, absolutely not. I'm not about to raise your kids after I've already raised you. No, I'm not about to raise your kids. Um, and I ain't gonna care about them either. So now I, now I gotta do me. You decided to go out here and get pregnant. I went out here and got somebody pregnant. That's why I got you. And now you you think that you about to go out here and get someone else, someone pregnant, and then bring them back to me so I can raise them after I've already raised you? No. You 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 had to go. You and your baby. Both of y'all got to go up out my goddamn house. 110%. Um, this will be over on my Patreon, though, with the audio and video. Sign up for my Patreon. Link is inside the description below. This this shows it's a hot-ass mess. I'm loving it, though. Let's go on to episode number five, I think. Episode number five is next.